two-seater circuit. Heat number four is coming up. Hancock goes off the inside, the series leader. Emil Saifutinov goes off gate number two. Runa Holter, a winner here last year, goes off gate three. Thomas H. Jonasson going off the outside. All four of these riders will have watched with interest at the first three heats from the uh, pits area. And they'll have seen that it's interesting, to say the least, the conditions early on here. Heat number four it is then. And away from the start, this time, up to that first turn. Hancock hits the front early on. Watch out for uh, Jonasson and Saifutinov. Jonasson on the inside in yellow. Saifudinov charging through as well. Hancock holds his nerve and goes wide. Jonasson has the lead now. Hancock second in red. Saifudinov's coming through and Hancock's in danger of going to the back, but Holter quite. Oh! And that's a nasty smash as Hancock goes down as well. Three riders down on the deck. And once again, it's that particular part of track uh, where. Coming the boys into turn up. one there. It's just breaking up and riders are getting a ton of grip going in. It pushes hard. Saifudinov up the inside of Thomas. Jonathan and Jonathan there just seems to sort of lose traction at the back of the bike and I'll tell you what if they all get up here it's going to be remarkably lucky look here comes uh, does he clip him there yes he does he does give him a shove and that just unsettles him and I've got to say that Saifudinov coming in so hard Hancock also there was in trouble coming into the corner it's just there there's a bit of contact there between the two riders and both of them out of control I would suggest uh, is that the exclusion light of yellow come on there, Nigel? The yellow exclusion yep. light? Yep, so uh, it is. Thomas H. Jonathan is the man. Mm, and I the think Swedish fans are not happy with that. I would think he's a bit unfortunate there. I, su I suggest that uh, Emil Saifudinov certainly helped him on his way. Well, Jonasson down on the deck. We wish him well and hope that he's going to be up and about very shortly. Saifudinov still having treatment as well. But uh, Thomas H. Jonasson has been excluded from the restart it's not often we see such grippy conditions in the grand prix and i would say suggest that it is catching out quite a few people thomas h Jonasson and the reaction of the swedish crowd is uh, certainly they're not in agreement with craig Ackroyd, the referee here and i have to i have some sympathy there i think that uh, saifudinov was uh, certainly uh, gave him a shove as they came together there well, you can only presume that Craig Ackroyd believes that he didn't get a shove and that Jonasson went down of his, of his own accord. Well, yeah, but there, there you are. It's clear, isn't it? You know, he just runs in the side of him. And uh, that's, uh, you know, certainly uh, Jonasson had pulled a bit of a locker. The other two boys did remarkably well. Saifudinov is the one yet to get up here, so he has come off second best um, here. And he may not be able to take his place in the rerun, but... Uh, Far from ideal start either way from both those riders. And also, I tell you what, Greg Hancock, who made a great start, got himself in a very vulnerable position. Look at him there coming in the corner. Those two boys there, well, look at Saifunov. He is just out of control. And bam, in against the back of the bike. Emil is up and walking away. That is great news. Emil Saifunov is up and walking back to the pits area. It's a well, fair old walk from that second turn back to the pits, and uh, he will be invited back well, he, for yeah. the restart. When it, the more you see the replays, Nigel, I suggest that uh, the more he's been a touch fortunate there not to have been excluded. You have to say that he came roaring in underneath Thomas H. Jonasson, and uh, there was quite clearly contact between the two riders, and he helped Jonasson on his way. So.